Hello everyone, so welcome to today's video. We are talking about product empties. I do these every couple of months and I've been collecting for several months now. And I want to get rid of these products because they're taking up space underneath my sink. And I feel like it's time to kind of share with you guys some of the things that I have enjoyed, some of the things that maybe I haven't enjoyed so much. And I feel like by the time you get to the bottom of a product and you finish it up, you do know whether or not you like it. And I feel like that's what makes these videos really helpful and useful for people to watch because you can um, see if a person is interested in the product or not. By the time you get to the end, you'll know. So I want to get into some of the products. I think I'm going to start with hair care products first because I have a few to share with you. The first one is the Matrix Biolage, the Volume Bloom Shampoo. I have the conditioner still because 13.5 fluid ounces of conditioner will last me ages. And I do go through shampoo a lot faster. And this one is for volume for fine hair. I do feel like it did give me some volume and I did enjoy using it. It smells like cotton. And I think I would repurchase from Biolage again. But I want to try another volumizing shampoo um, once I finish the ones that I have in my bathroom. If you would see my shower, I've got like five different options to choose from whenever I go to wash my hair. And so this is the one that I was using. This is really the only volumizing shampoo I had in my collection. And it worked. I finished it up. So I will continue to use the conditioner until that's done. But I feel like I want to try other things. I'm not going to say it's a bad product. But I feel like maybe I could try something else and maybe I'll like something better. The next shampoo is the L'Oreal Ever Pure, the Sulfate Free, the Moisture one. This is for um, the color care system and I wanted a sulfate free shampoo that could help with keeping my hair from fading. I do color my hair and it is red so it is a high maintenance color and it does require a lot of um, maintenance as far as coloring every several weeks because it fades pretty quickly. Every time I wash it I see some of the color rinsing out and so with reds, you want to use sulfate-free shampoos, things to preserve color. So that's why I've been using this. And I have repurchased this. And I do feel like it does make my hair feel really clean. It smells good. It, and I feel like it does keep my hair from fading. Now, I do have some roots going on because I haven't colored my hair since I had my daughter. So I feel like this does help keep my red looking vibrant. And I do enjoy it. Now, I haven't tried it in conjunction with the conditioner. I just have the shampoo. And I feel like it works. And it has UV filters and it's an anti-fade uh, formula. So really like this and it's really affordable from the drugstore. All right, so my last hair product is this little mini dry shampoo from Amika. It's the Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I got this in um, one of my Sephora orders. I use one of my 100 points for this perk and I feel like it's really good dry shampoo. I've never tried anything from this brand. I love the packaging. It's really fun and very bright and very sort of psychedelic in a way. I really think it's really cool. And I do enjoy the formula. I This tiny little thing didn't last very long, unfortunately. But the days that I was able to get out of this, I feel like it did make my hair feel refreshed. And it made my hair look less oily. And that's just what dry shampoos do. And I do think it's a good one. If you want to splurge, I think it's like 25 bucks or so. I looked it up on the Sephora app. Not too bad. I used one from Briogeo that I'm still using that I bought when I went to Vegas um, last year for the summer. And it's still has a lot of product left in there so I might buy this when I finish that one from Briogeo but this is a good one and I don't have any complaints about it I mean it did the job just fine for me let's do the one body care product and it's the Palmer's Shea or the Raw Shea Balm I go through these like crazy I did through my pregnancy as well I would slather my belly morning and night with this stuff and it is very greasy so I would suggest that if you're gonna get dressed to leave the house do not put this on especially if it's somewhere where it's really hot because this will make your skin feel kinda sticky uh, it's good for the nighttime. It's good for if you take a shower at the end of the day and just to relax and unwind before going to bed. Slather this on your body. You'll wake up to very soft skin. So I do enjoy it and I still purchase this. I buy them by the tubfuls. I get like two or three at a time because sometimes I find it's a little bit hard to find these. I get them at Walmart. The last time I ordered a bulk pack, I got them from Amazon and I love it. And like I said, I had no stretch marks at all in my pregnancy and I got pretty big. I gained a lot of weight and I have to say that it's not only genetics with the stretch marks but it's also keeping the skin hydrated and not letting it get um, really dry especially if you're pregnant your skin is going to stretch and I feel like it's so important especially in that time to really hydrate and this stuff was amazing my husband uses this as his moisturizer every single day on his face he uses it on his legs elbows my son uses it we all use it and eventually I'm probably going to use it on my daughter when she's a little older uh, but really great and I love the way it smells. There's none to show you. It smells so good. But there's absolutely nothing in it. We've wiped this thing clean like 
trying to scrape every last little bit of it out, but I've got a new one that I just opened up, so we're good to go there. Okay, so skincare products. I've got a cleanser, the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. This is my go-to. I've gone through numerous bottles through the years with this stuff. I feel like it's a really great cleanser from the drugstore. It hydrates, it cleanses my skin, it never makes my skin feel stripped. And I've talked about this before. I even did a nighttime skincare routine, which I'll link here, using this product. And I've talked about this so much that I'm not going to go into too much detail about it. It's great, very affordable at the drugstore, and you can find it anywhere. So I've got some uh, face wipes, the Alba Botanica, the Hawaiian 3-in-1 towelettes. I use this during my pregnancy. And I would use these in the morning to refresh my face instead of doing a full cleansing routine because my skin got really dry during my pregnancy. And so I wanted to eliminate the whole routine in the morning as far as like cleansing with cleansers and doing all these crazy things. I kept my, my skincare routine super, super simple during my pregnancy and I had really good skin except for dryness. And I used these in the morning to take off my nighttime skincare products to add some fresh moisturizer on and some oils and then to get started with my day. And I really do like these and I feel like it helps to get rid of any oils that built up throughout the night, the skincare products from the night before. If you want to use these for makeup removal, they work really great. As far as face makeup, I wouldn't say that they do very well with mascara or really heavy duty long wear eyeliner. I feel like you need more of a cleansing balm, which I will show you one that I finished here. Bless you. Um, but these are really great and they're really affordable and you can get them at the drugstore. So they do the job. As far as mascara, you need a little extra something to get that off at the end of the day. And speaking of cleansing bombs, I have the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm, and this packaging, it looks disgusting. It's got fingerprints all over it. It's a balm. It's white. I don't know why I'm showing it to you because it's empty. <laughs> um, it's a balm. You take a little bit on your hands and massage it into your face. It turns into like a oil consistency, melts everything off, and then when you add water, it turns into like a creamy a cleanser and it literally takes everything off never have any issues with it love this stuff and I've gone through several tubs of these over the years and I just kind of try other things and I always come back to this and then you know try something new and always sort of come back to this because this is really affordable for the amount of product you get you get 3.8 ounces and you need the tiniest bits which will last a long long time and it does effectively remove everything off my face which I think is super important before you go to bed all right so some more products I have this moisturizer the Clinique moisture surge intense this one is an empty Yet, um, I had this and I was cleaning out underneath my sink, getting all these products and kind of organizing my samples, and this was shoved all the way in the back, so this thing is super, super old. I probably well over a year. This was the moisturizer that I used when I first moved to Colorado, the Moisture Surge Intense. This is the one for very dry to dry combination skin. It comes in a jar like this, and it works really well. I feel like it really hydrated my skin. I'm not going to use this, um, whatever's left. It does have a little bit of a weird kind of scent to it, so if you can get past the scent, it's a really good moisturizer for anyone who has dry combination skin, um, but because that seems very old, at least a year, maybe a year and a half, I can't remember the last time I actually used that, so I'm not touching that, not putting that on my face, um, so yeah, it's a good one, but I have been enjoying my next moisturizer that I'm going to talk about, and you'll see. Let's see if I can do this again. I've got three empty containers of the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Gel Cream for extra dry skin. I'm about to add a fourth jar to this. I buy these and use these like nobody's business. I'm using this like it's going out of style. So I really enjoy this. I feel like it's a nice consistency. It's like a jelly consistency. It hydrates really well. Works great for my uh, skin during pregnancy. And the reason why I tried it during pregnancy is because it's oil-free, fragrance-free, dye-free, and non-comedogenic. Enjoy this. Very much so, as you can tell, three jars, that tells you something, right? It tells you it's good. I do want to try some of their other products. I think they have something for the eyes and then like a serum in this Hydra Boost range that I want to try that I think might be um, something worthwhile. So I'm going to keep you guys posted on those other products whenever I get a chance to go to the store and buy them. Um, they seem really good and they also have a body moisturizer too that I'm curious about. Alright, so for my last few things, I have a few makeup products and I'm going to start with the Raw Sugar Lip Balm. This is in Coconut and Mango. I got this during the holidays in a kit and I really enjoyed it and I used the heck out of this. I use chapsticks like it's going out of style because I cannot stand, that's, I'm telling you, that's one of my pet peeves is having dry chapped lips and to feel cracked lips, to feel flaking, peeling lips, it drives me up the wall. So. I always have chapstick. I have one in my bathroom. I have one in my nightstand. I have one in my kitchen. have tons of them in my purse, in my diaper bag. In my uh, car, I have a lip balm. I don't mess around. Like, I cannot stand having dry lips. 
and this was actually a really good lip product. I have a brow gel. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist, the Boost and Set. This is a volumizing brow mascara. And I have it in the shade Dark Brunette. Works really great. It has a really, really tiny brush. And it's an angled brush as well, or spoolie, I should say. It looks tiny, tiny like this. So if you have very thin brows, this works. If you have thicker brows like I do, it works as well, um, just as good. And it does have a little bit of some fibers in it, but I don't feel like the fibers really added to the whole thicker, fuller brow look. I don't feel like it's enough fibers to really do that. And I think that if it had a lot of fibers, I think it looked kind of weird. I don't know. I just... It has fibers in it, I'm letting you guys know about it. It's a good formula. I feel like it does work really well. And I think that this specific formula is, it gives a little bit of color, um, but not a whole lot. Like right now I have another tinted brow gel on, and that's all I have, the milk makeup one. And it's very pigmented. And if I just did that on its own with no other makeup, it kind of looks a little off because I'm not used to seeing myself with full-on brows and like no other makeup on. But when I use this, I can put this on and nothing else on my face, and it looks like my brows are naturally just a little bit more pigmented. Just adds a little bit extra color, which I like. So for that reason, I would repurchase this. My last two products are mascaras, and the first one is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I have been using this since it came out two years ago. I keep repurchasing and repurchasing one tube after another. Every time it runs out, I'm buying another one. I've always got a back back stock of it because it's really really great and it's very very popular and it's phenomenal it checks every single box of my wish list for what I want my mascara to do for my eyelashes and I love this stuff now I did lose my mind several months back and tried the covergirl exhibitionist mascara and let me tell you this is just as good as the L'Oreal lash paradise and these two are my go-to's from the drugstore I'm telling you this formula is really great let me show you the differences between both of the wands so you guys can see um, what I'm talking about. They're kind of similar. This is the Lash Paradise and this is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. Then the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara, which is this one here, is more of a distinctive hourglass shape than this one. But this one here from L'Oreal does kind of come in a little bit in the center. All right, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I was able to get through everything about the product before she started to get super fussy. She's in my lab right now and I think she'll be okay for the next few minutes. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you found these reviews helpful. I will list everything down below that I talked about in today's video in case you're interested in trying any of these things. And if you do, I would love to hear your thoughts on them. And if you have any recommendations of products that you absolutely love, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you subscribe if you're new. Welcome to my channel. Hopefully you will subscribe for more videos in the future. And for those of you who've been watching my videos for a long time, whether it's just a few weeks, a few months, a few years, thank you so, so much for your time. I know your time is very valuable and I appreciate you spending some of it with me today. Have a fabulous day wherever you are, whatever you're up to today, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Take care.